It was day to day. And the trainers got me ready. I prepared. I was going to treatment every day faithfully, just living in the training room. And Coach Fisher came out in Walmart. He was like, you feel good? I was like, I feel good. And then I was ready to go. Yeah, I guess you feel good. First carry from scrimmage, a, a, a touchdown. I mean, how did – kind of stupid question, seeing how you score a touchdown. How did it feel on that first run? Um, it felt great against the home team, you know that. Um, being the dope, scoring on my first run, you know, just hearing the crowd go, hearing the crowd go crazy, you know, it's always great. So it felt good. What does it mean to to win a rivalry game like this? Um, just knowing the guys that been there before us, the Ward Duns, the Marvin Joneses that was in the um, Coach Darcy, you know, man, you know, just just playing for them because the, the rivalry bigger than us that we playing right now. It's just the game bigger than us. So you know, this one of the all time rivalries of college football. So you know, just playing in this game and having an opportunity. It's a great feeling. I mean, uh, Devontae Freeman made a habit of having big games against Miami. Now you're you're two for two in big ones. Uh, what's what's it like for you playing the the hometown team and kind of taking it to them two years in a row? Um, you always get that extra motivation, and you know, all week you get the phone calls from back home, and you know, you get your friends calling you, your family, and you know, just having all my family up here, and you know, it's it's, it's good, and, you know, just playing against that hometown, it's it's always something about it. What uh, what was the offense's demeanor like coming out after Miami took the lead? That's what that's what that's what I I wanted to see right there, and it wasn't no finger pointing, no big eyes, nobody was looking at each other. We went out there, Coach Fisher called the play, and we was executing. And you know that's that's what I like from the guys. We got that fight in us, and you know it showed tonight. And you know we faced that adversity tonight, and you know we pulled through. Before we talk about the game winner, Bobo made an awfully big play to, to keep that drive going to start. Um, Bobo did that all last year. I called him the third down guy last year. And, you know, he came through tonight with a big one. And, you know, that's my guy right there. He came through with that big that big catch tonight. And, you know, I love him for that. Walk me through the game winning, what ended up being the game winning touchdown. Um, we hit him on a couple of, on a couple of, um, on a couple of stretch plays that drive, so because Fisher stayed with it, and you know it was open, and I just I just hit it, and you know, Bobo made a great block downfield again for the game when it touched down like he did last year. So, you know, Coach Fisher just was going with it, and it was open all drive, so we just went with it. How big have the receivers been for you all year blocking downfield? Man, they got better every week, and you know, Coach Fisher force, enforcing that every week. You know, they got the talent to catch the ball and make plays over field. Blocking, he he been enforcing that. He been enforcing that all year. So they've been improving every week, and you know, we're just gonna go back to go back to work on Monday and keep improving. How important was it to stay patient because the offense kind of left some points on the field in the first half? Including me, I left some points on the field too. And you know, we, when we that's our thing. When we get down there, we got to capitalize in the red zone. We had a couple of drives we got to just capitalize on. And you know, the game when we put ourselves in the predicaments, and you know, put the defense in some predicament, and you know, we just glad they they pulled us through tonight. What happened on that play? Because it looked like you were going to score another long touchdown. You kind of pulled up. Yeah, my hamstring kind of tightened up on me. That's what happened last week. It tightened up on me, and I got it before it like really got the way it wanted to go. And you know, and I, and I was good. And you know, that's why I was able to come back how I was this week because I ain't let it get as bad as it did. And I, and I pulled up on it. I know you only get 24 hours to, to celebrate a victory before the next one, but it'll be a pretty sweet 24 hours. Yeah, um, it, it's good. My all my family here, and you know, I'm gonna go home. Get a dinner tonight and celebrate with them. And you know, it's always great playing against on time. They could go back and you know they have a little bragging rights when they go back home.